but hey, it's Jessica. Um, I'm here to talk about a haul plus um, a collection from a brand that I want off Instagram. So um, I'll be showing both of those. Okay, so let's get in it. Um, one of the things that I got was actually from my um, Ulta haul a couple of weeks ago from the video that not a couple of weeks ago but from the video that I posted um a couple videos ago I um it was sitting on my um bathroom counter because I had been using it so I um forgot to grab it for that video but I'll include it in this one because it was a wet and wild product and everything that I purchased was my own money for um this uh video for this haul is from wet and wild so it makes sense to just combine them together oh starting off with highlighters because I just mentioned them. This is the one that I got from, I was about to say Sephora, from Ulta, um, it's $4.99. It's, it's Wet n Wild's Mega Glow Highlighting Powder, 5.4 grams of product, $4.99, cruelty free. I got the Crown of My Canopy, Precious Metals, Pre Precious Petals, and Golden Flower Crown, and they are just this is Precious Petals. That's what it looks like, the lighting here. It's probably very, like, it's just a nice, just kind of a, a champagne-y gold. Very pretty. The formula for this is out of this world. It's kind of like a baked gelée type formula. These are easily, this formula is easily one of my favorite highlighting formulas ever. Um, my absolute favorite highlighting formula is actually Artist Couture. Um, but yeah, but these, like, very pretty, minimum high, not minimum highlight, maximum highlight, minimum glitter. That's what I wanted to say. Um, Crown of My Canopy is just, they're just really pretty. Um, I've been wearing the crap out of Crown of My Canopy, Golden Flower Child, Crown, and Precious Petal, Precious Petals, I just got on Friday. So I will definitely be incorporating these into my repertoire. I don't know if that was the right word I should have used. And then Ariel. It's the Wet n Wild Mermaid, Midnight Mermaid Collection. This is what the box looks like. Very pretty, very just holographic and just in your face, such a pretty blue. They really knocked it out of the park with the packaging of the container. Like, no complaints. So pretty. This reminds me of Ariel. I'm not going to sing for you guys. You, No one wants to see, hear that. I keep, it, I keep it to my car. I keep the singing to my car. In my apartment. Because Piper doesn't care. Or if she does care, she doesn't pay any bills. And then when you open it up, it looks like this. The only thing that I have opened out of this is the highlighter because I just couldn't wait for the unboxing but the highlighter um it's called it has a name what's your name Wait. I was kind of nervous when um picking this up just because I wasn't sure how the highlighter would look uh, the, the highlighter is, all of Wet n Wild's products are cruelty free, but this highlighter is actually also vegan. So if that is something you care about, that is just something to know. The highlighter by itself is $6.99, you get 8.5 grams of product. Uh, the regular square highlighter is 5.5 grams of product, 5.5 grams of product, $4.99. And this is what it was, a very pretty, pretty design. And then this is what it looks like it's just a very pretty like yellow gold it's going to look gorgeous on brown skin like i cannot wait uh the this the high because this is called a highlighting bar it's still the mega mega glow um formula it has more or more has a the glitter is a bit bigger but not like super chunky it's just more apparent than it is in the Mega Glow highlighting powder. Um, so, um, but very pretty. Of course, I can't. I cannot wait. The entire box 
box set was $34.99 and then to basically kind of basically they want you to buy the entire box just because all four of these $4.99 powder highlighting bar $6.99 the liquid lipsticks $4.99 the liquid eyeliners are $3.99 I did not want the liquid eyeliners but I wanted everything else and it just made more it would have been more expensive for me to give everything else and not the highlighting not the highlighting but not the um uh liquid eyeliners it would have been more expensive than the the entire set so um just calculate it out first to see if it would be less money to just get the entire thing so there's that i entered in a contest on um, this brand Instagram basically you had to follow you had to reblog it and um, you had to tag a person in the comments of the original post and then you were entered into win their entire collection plus five of their unreleased lipstick shades and I won like this is I don't know it it's high up there this might be the best thing that I've ever won. It's neck and neck. Because I won Rihanna tickets from Tidal in 2016. So, like, that was an experience. This is also an experience. So, I don't know, like, man. But anyway. Black Moon Cosmetics. Yes. Yeah. And so, this, they just have such beautiful imagery and so it came with these little inserts like a nice little letter saying or card saying congratulations tag us in the looks i'm definitely going to and then they included like these little cards that you know include their like their models which look look at that they have women of color they feature women of color these are their models this is their squad. This is their gang. And their gang features women of color to say, hey girls, hey guys, whatever color you are, you can wear us. We represent you. And you want to know why that's smart? Because representation matters. I'm on a rant right now. My apologies. Actually, I don't apologize for it because it's important. Makeup companies benefit. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Like, you all say, oh, Black people don't buy stuff. Well, no, we're not going to buy your stuff if you don't make colors for us. Why am I going to wear buy a foundation that doesn't match me, that's going to make me look like... I was about to say something mean, but I'm just going to make me look not like myself. I'll just put it that way. It's going to make me look like I'm trying to bleach my skin. I like my color. I like being black. I don't want to be bleached but so why would I I'm gonna stop right now but I'm just saying this seeing things like this other companies take note if people of color see that you actually want us to spend our money on you through your ad if you advertise to us we'll do it we'll do it so just take note realize that we 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 spend money like we do advertise to us include us so my camera's like sliding but moving on this i've not opened anything because i wanted to just show this is what it is I feel like a legit beauty guru because I'm, I'm sure they're sick of doing unboxing, sick of getting boxes and things like that and getting PR. This is not PR, by the way. Like I said, I just entered the contest and I won. But let's just, let's just dig in and go from there. Ow. You don't need anything in there. So first they sent their, um, it is their makeup bag, which is super cute. It makes, it's a little moon design, and like, I would definitely be using this. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I feel like Jessie from 
from Saved by the Bell, although she was like high on drugs because she was trying to study real hard and just be the best student that she could be. So we don't want to feel like Jessie. And then there are two, four, six, eight lashes. Like their entire lash collection, which is funny because I don't, I can't apply lashes for a thing. Um, and so this is Draco, my Harry Potter nerdiness is just flaming out right now. Why are you doing that? You are the reason why my stuff is getting broken. I know it is. So like, uh, and then, so I was born in December, Sagittarius. Hey girl, how you doing? I'm definitely like more like wanting to learn how to actually apply lashes more than ever. And um, Black Moon Cosmetics, they are cruelty free. I want to say majority of their stuff is probably vegan. They, oops, they do have red colors, so I don't know how that would work. Cause I do know they have red lipstick, so I don't know how that would work. But they're definitely cruelty free. But their lashes are cruelty free and vegan. So, and it, they also say to use your favorite vegan adhesives. So, they're about that life. Um, everything is so well like packaged and cared for, and I'm just like losing my mind. And so these, vegan and cruelty free, vegan and cruelty free, vegan and cruelty free, vegan and cruelty free. So all four of these, this is Celine. Oh, yes. This might not be good either, but this is Celine. Mmm. pretty liquid lipstick this might not be their new shade was very moussey like we'll see how far along it takes to dry down so this is Celine sleepwalker oh no these aren't the new colors because they've always had a black I'm sure this is their black I'm not gonna swatch everything because that would make this video like longer than a day I am gonna try and like just show off everything. Uh, this is bone. Oh, bones! I broke you. This is bones. Bones definitely needs a liner because I'm brown, and that would make me look all powder donut teas. Although I do love powder donuts, but I don't want to look like I love powder donuts. You know what I'm saying? And then this is Wrath. Very pretty. This color looks like something I would love and adore. Um, so, eight, 18 month shelf life. This is Dearly Departed. Uh, liquid to matte lipstick. And this, ooh. Grave and Grim. This is gray, this is grim. I'll swatch one. Let's swatch grim. Has that same like, ooh. They have a thinner consistency, but they're also very moussey. And that I'm super excited for. Cause I have a brown lipstick right now um, from Color Rain, but it's a bit too dark for my complexion, I feel like, but that looks right up my alley. And then this is the Black Metal Trinity. Oh, they're not stuck with me. Okay, that shouldn't have been that hard. But this is what it looks like. And then these are their Liquid and Matte Metallic Lipstick. This is a limited edition collection. Since you are already open down here, I will open you down here as well. Oh, blue. Oh, yes. Okay, so 
Sorrow. Is this blue or is this purple? Um, Armageddon. Love the names. Immortal. Uh, let's go with Sorrow. Okay, these don't have the, um, the, like, vanilla -y scent. Oh, that's very pretty. I, oh, yeah. There are two Libras, Dust, Gloom, and Willow. Did I get a Gloom already? This is Libra, and this says Libra as well. So maybe we'll be doing a giveaway. Yeah, these are the exact same color. So I'll hold this and maybe I'll do a giveaway. And then dusk. Gloom. I haven't seen gloom yet. And willow. Willow. And willow. So let's go ahead and swatch willow. Yeah, so these are, ba we're back to the, oh, that's a very pretty color. We're back to that um, vanilla -y scent. That is Willow. This video is going to be long just because I'm showing off everything. Okay, so this is Harvest, Purgatory, Sanguis, Mortis, and Deranged. Ooh, those metallics really dry down. Very pretty. Deranged. Mortis. Ah. Okay, let's actually look at Mortis. No, Mortis is vegan. That's interesting that they're getting these red colors but still keeping them vegan. So it can be done. This is Harvest. This is the color I've had my, own, my eye on for the longest. Oh, that's pretty. Purgatory. It's like a black and purple, it looks like. And then Sanguis. And it also is still vegan and cruelty free. It's vegan, like cruelty free I'm not surprised about, but the vegan is kind of blowing my mind because it's like red. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that red. That's just freaking fantastic. Oh, look at how pretty. This is Eternal and Myth and Luna. Luna is their lip topper. Eternal. These are their um, metals. And this. I'll swatch two of these. I'm going to swatch Myth. And I'll also swatch their moon topper, Luna. They are drying down really nicely. So, this is Luna. Luna smell has like a has like a berry scent to it. That that is nice. Oh, that's pretty. That is Luna. And then um, I was thinking of something, but I can't remember what I was thinking of. And that is myth right there I don't know if you can there we go there's the green so 
Illusion Genie Fairy Ghost and Abyss. Oh, I just noticed it has like a little moon on the side of it. Illusion. These are the new colors. Look at Genie. Buried. Ooh. And I also think that, yeah, because they're also putting like little moon details on the side. I don't see you see that. That's not on any of the other ones, which is super duper neat. Uh, this was buried. And then ghost. Oh. Where has been ghosts for Game of Thrones? Where are you? I know we're focused on the dragons. But ghosts are still a very important part of Jon Snow, folks. Um, this is ghost. That's very pretty. And then we've got Abyss. I was trying to open these. Abyss. Um, I am going to swatch Genie. Okay, so we're back to the, um, what's this? That is Genie. That is everything. I'm also going to swatch Ghost just because this is a very, yeah. it's like a cool lavender, like gray lavender. Sorry. I'm a knuckle. So these are the new shades. I'll do a video, definitely. And then we've got, it feels like I've not opened anything. And so this is their um their shadows or their liquid shadows vault ah these are so the they come in and they have like the empty boxes here but like oh and this is nice like the presentation man can't be beat. Okay guys, I decided to go ahead and split up this video because it was getting really long. So I'm going to post the second half separately. Um, that video is also going to be fairly long. But so the next video will compare the Wet n Wild Midnight Mermaid eyeshadows and the lipsticks to the Black Moon Cosmetics Cosmic Eye Dust and the Metallic Lip Color. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks guys. Bye.